What's going on everyone? Alex Miller from the Eagle, joined by Donovan Green. He's uh, committed to Texas A&M, tied in here at Dickinson High School. We're out at the state 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament at uh, Veterans Park. You know, Donovan, uh, how good is it to be able to compete in something like this? I know probably disappointing you didn't get to do something like this last year. I mean, it's always good to come out here and compete with everybody. I mean, anytime you're competing, you're trying to get better, trying to make no mistakes and learn on your mistakes if you do make any mistakes. So, I mean, it's always good to come out here and compete. Gotcha. And, you know, we, we just saw you guys narrowly lost to Wiley East, but, you know, how did things go for you guys on day one, and what's kind of the hope as you guys enter bracket play tomorrow? I mean, uh, um, I mean, we did come out with a loss. I mean, it's okay, though. I mean, we can just learn from our mistakes again. I mean, we're just trying to come up, come up here tomorrow early, win all our games, just learn from all the mistakes and get better. Gotcha. You know, um, you being an A&M commit, you know, what was it about A&M, about Jimbo Fisher and his staff that ultimately led you to choose the Aggies? Um, it's just, any time I go up there, it's just always a family atmosphere. And then I know that since my teammates went up there and did great things, why not just follow in his footsteps just like I did in high school? Gotcha. Yeah, and you know, it, it's no secret that Jalen Watermeyer, I mean, he's he's the guy right now at A&M at tight end, you know. Uh, what would it mean for you to, you know, kind of follow in his footsteps and do some of the things he's doing? I mean, it would mean the world to me. I mean, I'm just trying to come out here and go to the next level. And eventually, after four years, go to the next level. I mean, the end goal is just to have fun, get better every day, and just keep improving. Gotcha. What's kind of your relationship like Jay with, with Jalen? Um, it's, it's, it's just like my older brother, man. I've been behind him since I don't know when. I've always played up with other people, so I've played with him as well. I mean, it's just he's always been around me, always been trying to improve me, help me with my game. He's going to continue to lead me when I go to the next level. Gotcha. You know, uh, you committed to A&M while things were still kind of closed down due to COVID, but, you know, now that things have opened up this last month, how good has it been for you guys to be able to come to these college campuses and meet some of these coaches in person and build those relationships for you? I mean, I feel like I've always knew where I wanted to go, but just coming up here and being able to visit and talk to the coaches, I just feel like it's like the cherry on top. It's just a big confirmation of where I knew I wanted to go from the beginning, so it's just nice to come up here and just talk to everybody. You know, we talked to Connor Wigman earlier, and he, you know, he was talking about some of the pieces y'all have been building in this class. Um, you know, what, what, what do you think of what it's made for right now? And uh, you know, uh, how do you guys hope to add to it? I mean, you still got quite a few spots to fill. Um, it's it's all good. It's all family around here, and so me knowing not me knowing that I know him, I know he's a good quarterback, and everybody else that I know that's commits is the best of their position. So I'm just going to come out here, talk to everybody, get more people to make more of a brotherhood and more of a family, just go to the next level and just dominate. Gotcha. You know, we, we saw Jared Kerr. He's from around here, Lexington. He committed to A&M today. Um, you know, Eli Holstein, he committed to A&M too. You know, I see you guys tweet the little puzzle piece or the little juice box. Uh, you think A&M fans might be seeing a few more of those in the near future? I mean, it's just nothing but, it's nothing but better to come. I mean, I can't say a lot, but I just know it's, it's always going to be something to mix. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, you know, uh, what what can we maybe expect to see from the Dickinson Gators on the field this fall? I mean, you're just going to see a way better team than last year. We're just trying to come out here and improve on everything that we did from the past years and always continue to improve. So, I mean, this is going to be a way better team, a way better family, way better everything. All right, last question before you go. I'm, I'm a big food guy. I don't know about you, but, you know, in your trips to College Station, have you found a couple of places you're like, oh, man, I'm going to College Station. I got to eat there. I can't remember the names, but last time we came up here, we came up here for a camp, and that's when I met Eli. But after we went to this one place, it was like right behind the stadium, and um, I had, what did I have? I think I had some steak, man. It was real good. But it's like a whole bunch of places that's all back there, and, and Jalen has been always telling me that every single spot is good, so I mean, you can't go wrong. Awesome. Well, hey, uh, we had Donovan Green, Dickinson tight end. He's committed to A&M. Check theeagle.com for all of our coverage. Appreciate y'all tuning in.